Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today I'm going to share with you a flip through of Exploring Creation with Zoology 3. This is from Apologia. And the reason why I'm sharing this today is after I shared my favorite homeschool curriculum, I had someone ask for a flip through of this curriculum. So I decided that I would make a quick video and show you what it looks like. Um, we only used this for a short amount of time and it was just a little too much for my son at the time. So I'm saving it for when he gets just a little bit older because I know he'll be interested in it. So if you haven't checked out my um, favorite homeschool curriculum videos, definitely go check those out because you may find something that you love and if you see something else you would like a flip through of, let me know. So this is the one my son picked. Now I actually picked out from the um, used bookstore. We have McKay's that's about an hour and a half away from us and I was able to get um, flying creatures, uh, the one about the ocean, the sea creatures, and then I got the land animals. And this is the one he chose to do. So let's do a really quick flip through of Land Animals of the Sixth Day by Apologia. So it's an excellent book and I think you're going to really like it when you see what's inside. So this is for curriculum support. Then you have your scientific speculation sheets. I'm assuming you could use that to make copies or um, make copies of and use. We never use that, but that's in there. Then you have an introduction. It tells um, the lesson increments, how it's broken up, what narration is, notebooks, projects and experiments, the immersion approach, like, is it okay to spend a year just on a part of zoology? Um, and then there's a course website. And then you've got items needed to complete each lesson. I always appreciate when a curriculum goes so far as to make a list of things you're going to need. And I especially love when they break it down by lesson. So this is in here to show you this is exactly what you're going to need so you can have everything ready for when you sit down to work with your kiddos. Then you have your table of contents. As you can see, each lesson is pretty long and it was just a little too much for my son at the time, but I do think it's great stuff. So you're learning about all kinds of things. And here's lesson one. We actually did a couple of the lessons. So lesson one is just an introduction to the animals of day six. It talks about God made the animals. I love that it has a lot of pictures. It has bold words. So you can make sure you point out the bold words. Predators and prey, creation confirmation. There are Bible verses, studying animals, animal careers, pet careers. And then what I like is what do you remember? So each lesson will have a section like this. So you get to um, explain You'll ask some questions. Your kids will get to explain things they've learned. There will be mapping activities, tracking activities, notebook activities, and an experiment. And my son really did enjoy this experiment. We got this all set up, and we did this experiment, and he had a really fun time with it using M&Ms. And then it'll explain the experiment, why it happens, what the point of the experiment was, all that. So I'm going to flip through just a couple more lessons, and then I'm going to show you the notebook. So this is lesson two. So you're talking about teeth and skin and um, orders and the order and family. Some things to try so you can stop in the middle of your reading and you have something to try. Creation confirmation. What are dogs like? Communication, senses, hunting, wolves. Coyotes, foxes. I mean, look at all the different animals your kids are getting exposed to. And then here you are at the end of lesson two with a what do you remember? So it's questions like what characteristics do mammals have? What are some of the ways dogs communicate? Really trying to get those kiddos to talk about what they learned. You have a map it activity where you're talking about, hey, jackals live in Africa and Asia. Can you find that on the map? You have a track it. There are some notebook activities for you to do, and then something that your older kiddos can do if you have older kids doing this. And here's an experiment. So this is about the sense of smell. So we didn't make it this far, um, but I think this is a great experiment right here. 
I'm going to go kind of towards the back of the book and let's see what we have there. So let's go. Let's go to lesson 10. So now we're on reptiles. So you're getting to learn about snakes, snake defense, baby snakes, slithering snakes, harmless or venomous. Venom, venomous? Venomous, yes. Snake habitats and families and then into lizards, iguanas and geckos. There's your creation confirmation. Skinks, large lizards. I mean, look at all this. And then here you are again at what do you remember? So what do all reptiles have in common? How do snakes consume their prey? Then you have a map it activity, um, a track it activity where it says they don't usually leave tracks, but in wet mud or sand, you can sometimes find them a notebooking activity, and then here's a project. So some of these have projects, and here's an optional project. So this one did not have an experiment, but it did have a project you can complete. So, and you're gonna keep working through the whole book. Now what I really liked about it, and this is why I even picked it up in the first place, was I love this notebooking journal. I am a big believer in notebooking and letting the kiddos put down what they know in a notebooking version instead of being tested and quizzed on meaningless facts. So the great thing is, is you can order these notebooks off of the Apologia website for each of the books that you buy. And they're great. And let me show you why they are so good. The first thing that I really like about it, here's your table of contents. This tells you everything you need to know. It tells you about the suggested schedule, it tells you about facts, what do you remember view questions, notebooking assignments, it's got everything you need and it gives you a little explanation of each of them in here. This is the great part and you can see what we got through. So it's set up to be done two days a week and I think that's pretty reasonable because it is a lot of information and kiddos really need time to process that information that they're learning. So two days a week is great I think. What I especially love about it is they put it plain and simple. If you're somebody that needs open and go, what do I need to do? They lay it out for you. So day one, it tells you exactly what you need to do. It tells you if it's in the notebooking book or if it's in the student book, which is what we just looked at. And what I would do is just put a check mark by it to know that we had completed that part and I would know what we needed to do next. And so they do split it up into two days. They tell you exactly what to read, exactly what pages to do, everything's laid out for you. So this journal belongs to, and it looks like, let me show you this, it looks as if it goes for 28 weeks if you wanted to know how long it might take you if you did it two days a week. So this is just something we kind of started. My son does not enjoy writing things down, so that's how I knew he kind of wasn't ready for this yet. But this is what the fact page looks like for lesson one. And then we did do these what do you remember questions and I believe in a lot of narration so I would ask him and let him tell me the answers and I would write them down so I would know if he knew it or not. Here's some animal careers. And then you do have some copy work. If you enjoy copy work and you know how beneficial copy work is, copy work is built into your notebook. Then you have a crossword puzzle, which we finished. And then we did these uh, mini books. The mini books and things are in the back of this notebook, and I'll show you that also. And then here's more things. Like if you want to take lesson one and you want it to last longer than what it does, or you just want to add to it, or your kid is curious, look at all of these DVD and book suggestions right here in the notebook for you. All you have to do is go find them. I mean, how amazing is that? And here is the project that we did, and then the camouflage experiment. And so we did work on lesson two. This was about carnivorous animals. But then that's kind of where we stopped and we kind of realized we gotta take a break from this. It's not working, but I cannot wait until we dive back into it because he's even asked about it recently and I know that we're gonna get back to this one day. So here's your review questions. And then these are all the pages that you need to do lesson two. You don't have to do all of them, but they're here in case you want to. This is where your mini book will go, and here are some extra things, some science fair fun and DVD and book suggestions. And it even goes onto this page, and then here's your project. 
and your speculation sheet for cider smell lesson two. So here's lesson three, and we'll just flip through a little more of it. So if you enjoy notebooking or your child enjoys notebooking or things like crosswords and projects, this is probably a great pick for you for science because it, it's really great that it's all right here in this notebook and it wasn't very expensive at all. So let's flip back here. So as you can see, you do have a fact page that's pretty common, the what do you remember page. And I found that with my son breaking these questions up throughout the the days that we did this, instead of doing it all at one time, really helped him. So we may answer the first couple of questions and then wait until the next reading to answer the other questions. Here's Zoo Project. Here's more copy work, crosswords. There's where another mini book goes. So it looks, uh, it kind of has the same flow throughout the entire book. Here you write, do a speech, venomous snakes in my area. More crosswords. But I really do believe notebooking is the way to go when your kids are diving deep into something. And that's what I love about this land, Animals of the Sixth Day. If your children love animals, this is a way for them to really dive in and spend a good amount of time and not just hurrying through to the next thing. You can, they can really dive in and focus on these animals, these land animals, and they'll learn so much more about it than if you just do a quick, what I call a drive-by, where you quickly throw all the science stuff at them. They're really jumping in and um, learning about these animals. So let's look at the back. Here's all your solutions and things. So there is an answer key. And then, in the back here, these are all your mini books, and it'll have the instructions for what you need to do. And they are in color. The rest of the stuff is in black or white, but your mini books and things are in color. So this is what the back of the book looks like. You don't have to make any of the stuff. They've got it all right here for you for your kiddos to use. So I think these are some pretty awesome pictures. So I hope that this um, flip through was helpful. I know someone had asked me for it, so I wanted to make sure I did that really quick. If there's anything else that you see me using and you have any questions or would like a flip through of any of the curriculum that I've used or talked about, please let me know and I'll try to do flip throughs for you. Thank you so much for watching.